What's up everybody, it's the RCL Man here. Today I'm gonna do a Bob Ross painting in Rec Room. I have an episode of Bob Ross painting, whatever it is over here. We're gonna watch it, we're gonna paint it. Let's uh, let's see if it works, shall we? This is kind of weird though, because I can't look at the same time that I paint. Here we go. Now I've never watched an episode of Bob Ross whatever before, so <laughs> it's gonna be interesting. <laughs> Hello, I'm Bob Ross. Hey, Bob I'd Ross. Like to welcome you to the tenth Joy of Painting series. If this is your first time with us, I hope you grab a few paints and some brushes and come along and paint with us. We will, sir. So let's get together and let's do a fantastic painting. Fantastic. Let's go right up here. This now looks then, like a. Let's start right up in here, and we'll use little little crisscross strokes. So for this first part here, he says it seems like what he's doing is he's got some. Well, the closest thing we have to that is going to be this blue over here. We're going to just lightly. Just from the top, just, it doesn't work the same way <laughs> that he does, but what we'll do, we'll adjust as need be. It's not blending in any way, shape, or form, but it's okay. It's all right, we're gonna blend, make a couple little, little clouds, okay? It's supposed to go lighter as it goes down, so maybe just to get the same effect, we'll maybe do maybe a little bit, a little bit darker, you know what I mean? We'll just crisscross back and forth down here. You know what I mean? It's like he's doing in the paint. We're gonna just do a little crisscross, you know what I mean, down on the bottom. Blend it in. Nice, nice clouds up there. You know, he's left some white spaces there. Shake off the excess. And then Slap it. <laughs> just beat the devil out of it. Beat the devil out of it, okay. Maybe we'll have a little water in here. So we'll just pull right across like this. So, it looks like what he wants to do now is take some green and some blue. I'm just gonna just go from the outside, you know what I mean? I'm go from the outside, like he said, but leaving a little bit, leaving the little white bit in the middle. But of course, he added a little bit of green. I'm gonna put some green, we'll just do a couple little, little, you know, little, little specks of green. I'm gonna go with a little bit of uh, dark blue. I want it to be ocean, but I do want it to show a little bit of the green through, you know? We're just slapping it. <laughs> just beat the devil out of it up the least little touch of the bright red. And maybe there's a happy little clouds that just sort of float right around in the sky and have fun. Now it looks to me like he's like mixing a little bit of the white with a little bit of red. We're gonna go with the pink and then we'll go over it with white. You know what I mean? We'll make little little clouds like he said. You know what I mean? Little, you want the clouds. But then again, like I said, he went into, he went into it with the white. So we're gonna make some, put some white in there. All right, Bob Ross, what's next? I really like mountains, so let's do a fantastic little mountain today. I'm going to take some black, some Prussian blue, some Van Dyke brown, oh and put gosh. some alizarin crimson. This man's mixing all sorts of colors. Crimson. He did like black, and he did like blue, and even purple, or no, he said red. Like he put a whole bunch of colors in there. Let's just do it with black. Let's just do it with black for now. Yeah, then you have to make you have to make an almighty decision. Where's your mountain live? I think he's going to live. He is now. Right there. Right there. So it's all going to be straight up and down. So it looks to me like what we're going to have to do here is we're going to have to go. Now then, we'll take a two inch brush and I want to grab it and pull. This removes yeah. excess paint and blends it out so it gets lighter at the bottom. You can see the entire mountain. It's always lighter at the bottom than it is at the top. Like this. We Not perfect, but you know it's a mountain. It works. It's, it's a. It's a, it's something. It's weird because it doesn't come to a point. It comes to a square. You know what I mean? But we'll leave it like that for now. And let's put let's put some snow on this mountain. So let's go right here. Touch, no pressure. Just the weight of the knife. No pressure. He says to just take it. And again, because it's what it is, it doesn't quite work. But ooh, oh, that fucks with it real bad. Oh, that makes it look horrible. Oh no. Oh no. And I see the problem is this blending in a lot with the with the upper part, with the sky and the clouds and whatnot. Yeah, then let's put some shadows in there for that. I'm gonna take some white. We'll put a little, uh, hang on, hang on. Whoa, 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 hold on, slow it down, Bob Ross. Slow it down. Hang on. The closest thing we have here is gonna be this light blue, unfortunately. We don't have a very dynamic range of colors here. Once again, we have a small roll of paint. So very important how you load this knife. Now we're following the angles on the other side of the mountain. Watch here, I want to I push that back. So He's going the other way with it. Really? 
and then I'll come distinctly through. See how it pushes that peak right back? I'm trying to keep some of the black in there so it looks a little bit like a mountain, but it's just kind of turning into a, a heap. You can kind of tell that they're mountains, but at the same time, it's very much like you don't see the little dots of black in between. You know what we might do here? So we're just gonna need some, just some streaks. Just so that it's recognized like this is a peak of the mountain. You know what I mean? You have to modify it a little bit because it's rec room. There we go. That, that, may, that doesn't look too bad. I'm gonna fill it full of that color we just made. I don't even know what color that is. Just gray, basically? Load it full of paint. Give me, give me the gray. Why? Let's say a little footy hill lives right here. And all I'm doing is just tapping. A little footy fantastic? hill. So it looks like what he's doing here, he's got a little footy hills, as he calls it. Little, just, just little footy hills. Okay, now, I'm going to take this, because he was just swiping it, I'm going to recolor this thing white. Okay, so not the top, but the bottom. Just give it a little bit of... You know, I could take the eraser and do it. I have the eraser. And you can make layer right. after layer after layer. Take a little more of that color. Same color, just a little darker. Watch here. the gray, Maybe and let's do the slightly here. darker. But he's starting like over here. We'll just start. Impression blue, sap green. We'll throw in some alizarin crimson too. What the heck? Good dark color. Should look okay. Like clean I don't have that many dark colors. <laughs> Maybe there's some little evergreens that live back here in the distance. Here, hmm. tap it down. I don't even know how I can do that, closer, man. So you're beginning to see a little more detail. Now this part, I don't even know how. The only thing I could think to do is maybe, let's just make some, we'll go. They all look the same. Oh no. I could maybe. This color is a little darker, so it stands out. He said the darkness is kind of what like pop makes the color pop. So we're gonna go, we're gonna make some, we're gonna put some black in here. It just looks like a bunch of X's, it's ridiculous. Very lightly. Three hairs and some air. Just go across, and it creates the illusion of water. He's going just side to side, you know what I mean? Just kind of, so we're gonna. Okay, you know what I mean? Not half bad, it still looks a little weird, but it's okay. Be a happy little evergreen lives right there. We touch, then just the corner of the brush. What is this insane person doing? Again, working back and forth. Oh my and gosh, okay. How am I brush. supposed to do that? For a huge I can't do that. I'm gonna have to do like a marker. What? Hold on, hold on, Bob Ross, calm down. Wait a second, hold on, hold, just hold your horses. Wait a second. He's saying like, do a line, do a line. And on this line, you wanna do like, like what, what do you wanna do now? <laughs> He's saying like, you know, he's got like one here, here, until it gets bigger and bigger, until I guess I get to the point where I can use this. But again, the problem is, is that it's, it's going to be huge. So what we're going to do here is we're going to take this one and we're going to do the same deal. I'm taking some liberties here, okay? So we're going to just go, you know, like this. All right, there we go, that looks okay. So what's this crazy man doing? Let's go right up here. Let's put a happy tree that lives right here. Touch and give it a little push. Just bend the bristles. Getting a really puffy tree going on here. What I'm gonna do for this, because I don't really have the dark like he's got. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna recolor something to emerald. Because emerald is a color I just discovered. It looks like he's just straight up going like, like huge, like, just doing giant circles, just giant circles for this one. And maybe, maybe we could do black and then go over it with the green, you know? Alright, it's a little, you know, it's a little, yeah, but it's okay. He says we'll go over the highlights later on. Get that small roll of paint, like so. Okay, now let's go right up here. And we just put the indication of a happy little tree trunk here and there. Just do some brown. See there? Just that do is. some brown up and down. So we're saying, do just some brown touch, up and give down. A sideward pull. Right. Maybe there's some back in here. We don't know how many trees live in there. We need a brown. The point of the knife. Maybe put some dead cut. sticks and twigs on there. That easy. Okay. Let's 
take some white, brown. I had at least a little touch of blue into that. Like so. It'll be all right. That looks okay. Right? That looks okay. The trunk, it lives right here. See? So I just want to do like. You put these everywhere you want to watch here. You just take that's white. <laughs> that's white. That's not like gray. But okay. okay. There we go. It's a little weird, but you know. I'm going to reach up here and grab some sap green. So I've got cad yellow, sap green. Wow, he's got some light green. green. Okay, okay, I can, I can finally use this light green down here. Thin paint will stick to a thick paint. Now, let's put some leaves on this. This is what begins bringing this painting alive. We're going to... So he's got a lot of like little stuff, so we're just going to kind of go... I mean, it still looks, it looks kind of just like a mess of nothing. It doesn't look that great, but it looks better than anything I could do by myself. So let's just go with that, right? Maybe, maybe, maybe we'll the use, outside. I want to add a touch of the bright red here. I'm going to try to make this a little better. make a nice one. Don't, don't look too crazy with this red. It'll, it's fireball. That's a nice little, little color. Let's sign this and we'll call it finished. I really hope you've enjoyed Bye, Ross, this. No, hold on. Thank Wait, I'm not done. For joining me today. I look forward to seeing you. Again, I'm not done, Bob Ross. Wait. From all of us, happy painting. God bless. I'm not done. Well, everybody, uh, this is the first episode of Painting with Bob Ross and the RCL Men. You know what? The mountains don't look too bad. I kind of lost it here with the with the these things you know what i mean with the bushes and everything and the colors because you can't really do a lot with the things i didn't think about that beforehand but if you did enjoy the video make sure to like subscribe all that good stuff we'll see you in the next one have a good day everybody rcl man out